Hi, today we're going to do a bit more potting of our vegetables into a container because many of us are short on space. So today I'm going to pot my ICANN Prolific Cucumber into this pot. But you could also be potting a capsicum or indeed a grafted eggplant. So it's really important if you're planting into a pot that you use a very good potting mix. Make sure you choose a nice free draining soil. Important that it has saturate or a wetting agent in it because that helps spread the moisture right through your pot and a good three to four month fertilizer. Cucumbers are quite temperature and very moisture sensitive little creatures, especially in the beginning of spring. So just make sure that if your overnight temperature is going to be 10 or lower, that you cover it with frost cloth or if it's in a pot like this you can sneak it into the patio or the deck where it's going to be a lot warmer. Now great things will come of this cucumber. I've grown them for many years and they're very strong growing. So I support them with an obelisk like this. They grow up through the obelisk and they've got a little twining thing and they'll twine around the outside and carry themselves right up the top and your cucumbers will fall down the side. It makes literally oh, 50, 60, 70 little Lebanese cucumber type fruit that you can eat as you're doing the lawns because they're so juicy and tasty. So you can use an obelisk like this or you could even make a wigwam with um, bamboo canes uh, but they certainly do need support and much better to give them support than have your cucumber growing along the ground where it could get dirty if it's in the garden and um, get damaged. So with your cucumber when, it, when it's little don't overwater. Watch for the overnight temperatures. You may need to tie it as it grows up but it has the little tendrils that go round so you shouldn't have to. Once your fertiliser starts running out sort of like December time you can feed it with um, some more blood and bone or some ICANN organic vegetable food and that'll just keep it ticking along. Look after them really well and you'll be eating those cucumbers in no time. A couple of other vegetables that I always plant in containers are the grafted eggplant and my capsicums. So this is my capsicum target, the one I grow every year. It starts off with a green capsicum and then when it's fully ripe and um, rich in flavour it will change to the colour on the label. Here's our eggplant with its little graft. Be careful not to knock it. With a grafted eggplant you're going to get three or four times the fruit that you will from a seed sown eggplant. Also the major benefit is that you get that fruit way earlier so you're looking at fruit around Christmas time with a grafted one. If it's not grafted you're looking late January February and with both of these two they grow very strongly just like your cucumber does. So I also use a support for these. The eggplant you may need to get some exterior bamboo canes going and again with the capsicums come sort of January February when those capsicums are getting big and thick and heavy it just pays to put a few extra bamboo canes outside to tie the branches to because the fruit's very heavy and full of a lot of water. 